happy October, y'all. I am off to a very tiring start. I am, I'm tired. I'm just really tired. So I didn't vlog over the weekend, but I had a packed weekend. Usually I like to take it slow on the weekends because I really need time to recharge my battery. I'm a pretty introverted person and it takes a lot of energy for me to be out in social, social situations. Um, over the weekend, we went to a baby shower on a Saturday and then we went to a housewarming slash birthday party situation with like my entire mom's side's relatives. I'm gonna tell you right now, my mom on one side has like, I think she has like 10 to 15 cousins and almost all of them have families of their own so those are my second cousins and they're all like you know within my generation it was filled with a lot of people that i haven't seen in like probably over 10 years as i've been living in toronto for over 10 years um and it took a lot of social energy to talk to everyone so i was pooped by the time the weekend ended i didn't feel like i got like a relaxing weekend at all it was like very involved and then i jumped straight into work and had a very very busy week at work so far had three days of full nine to five meetings back to back type of situations no break i haven't even gotten to do any like actual work because i've just been in meetings tomorrow is similar i have like three quarters of the day filled with meetings and i am able to do some work at the end of the day but then we got to get ready for thanksgiving weekend that's coming up here in canada we're hosting two Thanksgiving dinners at our house, one on Saturday and one on Monday. So another not so relaxing weekend. I'm definitely gonna feel pooped. Anyways, I've been trying to go to sleep early, but it hasn't been working and it's still not working. It's almost midnight now and I'm vlogging, so that's good. On top of that, I've just been really busy with a lot of uh, sponsored stuff, um, content creation and whatnot. It's crazy because this year I think by far has been the busiest when it comes to Instagram slash YouTube. Um, work, sponsorships, contracts, etc. I, since January, have pretty much signed some sort of new content creation contract almost every other week since January. I can look at my invoicing now. I think I've done probably close to more, maybe even more than. Let me check actually. Okay, so so far this year, I've been contracted for 44 contracts, and I actually haven't even added some of the other ones I recently signed. 44, that's more than bi-weekly, I think. Like, if we look at, how many, babe, how many years, how many weeks are in a year? 52? Yeah. 52. How many weeks do we have left of this year? Eight, nine, 10, 11, 11, let's, let's say 11-ish weeks. I'm doing rough math here. 52 minus 44 equals eight. So I've done more than pretty much a contract a week so far, averaging out in, um, in this year so far, that's actually pretty wild to think. Anyways, I should probably shower and go to sleep now. But just wanted to say hi and start my October vlog with a bit of an update. Thanksgiving dinner, number one. Okay, Dad, move this over. How are you gonna move this over? Yeah. Oh, that turkey. 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 Okay. So that leftover stuffing, can't let it go to waste here. <laughs> yes. Nice, Emily. What was your contribution this year? Uh, Jenna and I did the mash. And oh, it was a team effort? Yes. Well, did she just boil it or like... <laughs> <laughs> I did, she did, she did, she did, she did it boiled. And then I did... You mashed them? Okay, all right. Effort, effort. Then I uh, did the stuffing, but it's like... Okay. All right, so we got like white side. Moving into the Asian side. And see if oh, mom, mom has this. I don't know where you want to put this. Yeah, got the current knife. Yeah. So the aftermath of uh, Thanksgiving dinner one was pretty good. We cleaned up everything pretty much, so everything is good to go. And Ty also had some friends over last night watching uh, the boxing game. So technically, we had like two parties within one night. Today is just going to be about getting a restock on some of the things I need to get. For example, I had bought like one bag of Brussels sprouts and I thought I was gonna split it in half. So we end up using more Brussels sprouts, more bacon and more butter than we thought we would. I thought I bought enough 
for the two days um but we didn't but good thing we have today to go grab some more stuff so i'm gonna go to the grocery store in a bit and probably go to the gym um i painted my nails like three times yesterday because first time i didn't like the color second time i painted too soon to like get cooking and stuff and my nails got ruined and then third time's a charm i also chose a different color the third time as well so yeah, three times within 24 hours. Um, Ty went out this morning to grab some stuff he needed and he picked me up some flowers. So I'm going to put these in a vase and it's perfect. It's like perfect autumn colors. All right, so I have arranged them. So fall, I love it. I just opened this package. My work sent me a MacBook Pro. I'm upgrading from the Air because with all the stuff I was doing with my work laptop on the Air, I just couldn't handle it anymore. Although I really like the Air because it was so thin and light, easy to carry. But hopefully this laptop will be better with like, you know, not slowing down and sounding like it's gonna explode every time I use it. Wow, so fresh. You know, I truly now understand my mom um my mom she every time she goes to the grocery store she always has to like visit or every time she goes to get groceries she always has to visit like three minimum three different grocery stores i never understood i was like oh is my mom just like spending all her time at the grocery store for no reason but uh now that i live in the suburbs but now i understand the need for it you go to one grocery store they have some of the items that you want but not all the items that you want especially when it's a long weekend like this thanksgiving long weekend um and everything is just so hard to find like some stores are sold out of certain things so um yeah i just had went to the gym and then visited two the gym and then I had to go to two different grocery stores because one of them had some stuff that I want but they didn't have Brussels sprouts which I needed more of. So what I was trying to say before I kept failing vlogging in the car because I was using my phone, uh, well I was going to go to my grandma's tonight because she just came out of the hospital yesterday. Um, she had heart surgery so I was going to go visit her however um, my mom just called me and she said that she was speaking to um, my her sister-in-law, my aunt, who's taking care of my girl right now and saying that she's uh, just knocked out on drugs all day long. So um, to come visit maybe later in the week. So instead, I'm going to take this free time to re-energize myself. I'm gonna eat some food and then I'm gonna set up my new laptop probably, do some laundry, set up my new laptop, just get some stuff done before we have to host people tomorrow and then go back to work the next day. Happy Thanksgiving guys! Officially today is Thanksgiving Monday. Yeah, I think Monday is officially Thanksgiving. Um, we got the house all prepped and cleaned. Ty is getting some food. Red day, he's doing the roast. That's a big responsibility that you're taking on this year for Thanksgiving. Yeah. First, first time. Man. Yeah, typically we are people who do like the sides and stuff. But this year because we have um, the house, we decided to host and uh ty took on the main the main attraction yes did you smell the beef before it's still good right yes. not not stinky and bad wow it smells good babe oh the onion broth is in the i oh, said beef broth is in there you put it in here already not yet. oh no no the broth's not in there yet yeah i'm waiting so so the is, uh, okay, okay. My fuck up for today is that I um, decided to book my team's quarterly performance reviews the day right after Thanksgiving, which is tomorrow. And now I'm sitting here trying to get these performance reviews done because I don't have time obviously to do it tomorrow before their um, meetings. And then I feel like by the time I eat tonight, I'm probably gonna be tired and I probably won't want to like be writing all these things so I'm just trying to get these performance reviews done before everyone comes over and I need to cook soon too let's see it could be a little bit more uh it could be a little bit more medium yeah it's, no, it's, it's not bad wait till we get in the center dog it's not bad though thinner 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 yeah those are pretty you gotta chunky, cut thin like shavings almost chunky slices bro 
Oh no, it's, it's not bad. It's just some blood to it. I like it a little bit more rare though. Yeah. It's not bad, right? It's a little pink. That's Today, that. even to me, like everyone's preference is different. To me, that's perfect though. Thank you. To me, that's perfect. Thank you, Hudson. See, that's what You're going to have some, right, Hudson? Yeah. Because I made it. You should use. See, Ty, you gotta go in with like a bit of an uneven like shade, you know? Yeah. I just I thought we're eating it like steak. <laughs> like slices yeah, like that. So Alright, Thanksgiving dinner number two. Salad, chicken pot pie. Veggies. Wow. Ty, are you happy with what you contributed, your roast? I think I am. Yes, yes. Okay. Ooh, the scalp potatoes look good. Hudson, how's your meal? Good? <laughs> what are you eating? Some meat, some mac and cheese, and bread? Come on. Want me to make your plate or you okay? No, I'll make my own. Want me to try your hair back? Because you're hot? Uh, Luke, what are you thankful for? Uh, uh, I'm going to go on the dry side. Well. I think it's him. Thank That's you. That's it. <laughs> I'm thankful for tonight, Monday Night Football, because I'm going to own Luke in there. Hell yeah. yeah. Right. No cap. No cap. <laughs> I can do it with my foot. <laughs> oh, okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. He's like, me? Happy birthday to you, Dad. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. So cool, so sorry. Let me buy plus one, okay? Fong didn't know how old you were. Okay, I want my plate to have hazelnut, apple pie, and pecan. That's where I'm going with my life. Look at this cute little dessert platter. And there's ice cream over there, by the way. It's midnight and I finally finished my performance reviews for my team so I can go to sleep now. I'm gonna shower and then head to bed. I'm here to pick up Jen and she's gonna be so happy because in what like 10 plus years she's been driving me and now I'm driving her. She's gonna be stoked. I know Jen's excited. <laughs> I was like, are you taking Jen, a selfie? Jen's or? excited for me to drive her right now. I'm nervous. <laughs> So how was my driving? <laughs> it was fantastic. I give the rating. Like if I was eight, an Uber 8. driver, if I was an Uber driver, how many stars? I would give I would give you 4.5. Oh, what's what's the 0.5 that's missing? Uh, it's probably the swearing while <laughs> switching lanes. <laughs> <laughs> the profanity. <laughs> Makes me feel a little uneasy. <laughs> like she's gonna be like, hell no. <laughs> but besides that, well, I almost dropped my phone. How do you feel being chauffeur for the very first time? Oh, it feels great. Yeah. It feels, it feels like the the roles have changed. You know what still trips me up is that when I drive and Ty gets to like be on his phone the whole time, it like, I'm like, <laughs> honestly, I look at him and I'm like, you're fucking welcome. Like. <laughs> You are welcome for the service I'm providing right now. That's probably how he's been feeling for the past like eight years now. <laughs> he's probably driving like, Sylvia. You're welcome, Sylvia. <laughs> when I see him on his phone, like in my mind, I'm just like, I did this for you. Like, you're you're doing this. You get to relax. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad you got to uh, enjoy my ride. Yeah, I don't think many people get to experience the Sylvia driving experience, so I'm lucky. <laughs> All right, so Lily is here. Plant Mama. Plant Mama is here to help me. Maybe I should start a YouTube channel. You should. Maybe to help me repot my plant. Um, because the other one I think is getting too small. Oh, I need to get the plant too. Huh? I need to get the plant. That's a good idea. <laughs> wow, you're so strong. Let me see. Look at the roots on this thing. That's probably why. See, it's so moist. Like, if you too feel moist it. at the bottom. Yeah. yeah, that's why it's molding. Yeah. Because uh, your soil is so moist. Uh huh. Yeah. And really compact too, right? Yeah, it's super compact. Look at all your roots coming out. Yeah. So it just needs a bigger pot. Hey, no, no. Mio. Mio. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I want to play. <laughs> Look at Ty behind me right now. So we're gonna checking out a car, doing some uh, car shopping slowly, potentially. Here with Ty, my brother over here. 
And uh, right now we're checking out this Acura that we're gonna drive. How do I adjust the seat? A little higher, higher, higher. Um, so yeah, we're gonna take it for a test drive and see how this goes in casually looking. Okay, let me figure this out. Okay, so this is the one I'm considering. Okay, so um, after we go, after I went to look at cars, I'm now seeing Jen for dinner, and we're at the keg. Apparently, this is our new like I think it's our new tradition. It's our spot. This is our hot spot. Yeah, it's this is the hottest spot in Ottawa. Yo, low key, <laughs> their garlic mash though is some next level shit. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. The the food is pretty good. Okay. Garlic mash is the best. I think like with a lot of the kegs, it's. Uh, some are better than others, but I feel like this one in particular has been consistently good every time I've been here. So I think I trust this keg in particular, because when I went to Toronto keg, I feel like some of them are good and some of them aren't good, you know? I never really liked the keg, mm -hmm. but Sylvia has changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's the garlic mash, man. It's the garlic mash. Okay, I'm about to go take a shower, but... So we looked at the car, um, you know, when I was going there to look at it, I honestly thought that I was going to go in and purchase it based on the photos I saw online and all the information I saw online. I was like pretty sure that I was going to go purchase it. But when we saw it in person, there was a lot of outside cosmetic damage that wasn't shown in the photos, a lot of cracks, chips and stuff like that. And for the price it is, it's still a good price, but now I understand why the price was much cheaper than other similar models or other same models that I saw. Um, yeah, and like I'm just the type of person where I know that kind of stuff is gonna bother me. So I would either have to get those things fixed and then like consider that in my cost alongside how much the car currently costs. Um, yeah, I just wasn't as immediately sold as I thought I would be essentially. I'm gonna continue looking around um, and hopefully find something soon because I need a car ASAP. We're going Halloween shopping and I'm super excited because it's going to be our first um, time having our own like house to do Halloween stuff with since previously we lived in a condo so you know we don't have kids coming over for Halloween. So, yeah. Wait what are you getting? I don't know I was just picking it up just in case the last one. <laughs> one, more, hey, there's, one all, there's already Christmas things. Oh my goodness. Babe this would be so sick in front of our lawn. What, Everything, this whole setup. This is a lot of money. Are you down? No, look at this. Five hundred dollars for that arch. Five hundred dollars. Wow. But they'd be so cute. This, is this vampire is so cute. Fifty bucks. I wonder not. It looks like that right there. Oh, why does it look like a snowman yeah, though? <laughs> this one looks, it looks like a snowman. Better. No, this goes like no. Oh, in white, it looks even more snow. like a snowman. What? These are so oh maybe it's like a two in one. We get one of these and we can use it for Christmas and and uh, Halloween. Yeah. All right, so we did some decorating with some of that fake cobweb stuff. Put a hand at our window. Put this like little little fence thing here. Okay, so I'm I'm going to head out to run some errands. So we've been trying to find chips like for Halloween, and I did not know in the suburbs that like. They basically get rid of all the Halloween stuff and replace it with Christmas stuff a week before Halloween. Like we went to uh, shop for Halloween stuff last weekend and everything was like gone already. Okay. And like they took away all the Halloween decorations and replaced it with Christmas things. Um, so I'm using my mom's car today because they don't need an extra car right now, so I'm borrowing one of their cars, but um, what was I saying? So we were able to find some candy, but I would like to be able to give chips as well. So a lot of the places are sold out, but I'm gonna try one more spot that people in the Facebook group said that there were some. And then if I have a bit of time um, before we have to get back to like eat dinner and get ready for Halloween, then I will go to the gym. I just tried the only store that apparently has chips in this area and the lines went from the front cash all the way to the back of the store. Let you guys know that this is a real Canadian superstore and it's huge. 
that's all online. And then there was a line from the self cash checkout to the front doors of the store. I'm done. I'm going to the gym. All right, so here is my quick Halloween look that I did. Honestly, I just was going to do something that was like easy to do with makeup. And then um, our Dell Beauty sent me these like face jewels. So I'm like, hmm, maybe I'll just stick these on as well. I don't know if they really fit like the skull look, but I kind of feel like with my whole outfit, I kind of look like a, a dead glam bride. Like a dead runaway glam bride is what I ended up wearing. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows really what my costume is? Nobody knows. But I'm excited to have kids, so we couldn't find any chips. So everyone's gonna be getting just chocolates tonight. And we got like a hundred and something pieces. And based on my neighbors, they were saying maybe around like 50 to 100 kids will come by. So let's see. I'm excited. I love kids in costumes, so cute.